I'm thrilled to announce that for today we have received the stereo amplifier from the people at Aurelic. It has built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth receiver and the smartphone app. And it can go up to 80 watts per channel. Currently Aurelic A50 amplifier is the only stereo amplifier made by this company, so let's try to be careful whilst unboxing it. The amplifier is packed in a delightful bluish light purplish small box. The amplifier itself is rather small judging from the fact that it has the aforementioned built-in functions. Not gonna lie, at first I was quite skeptical about it being so small but we'll see how it fares in the testing phase. Still kind of hard to believe its size but it has the weight you would expect for an amplifier to have. A layer of protective plastic on the front panel peeled that bad boy off. Here we have the back panel, which I will go over very soon, and on the bottom we can find rubber pads, which are also covered in thin plastic. What else is there in the box? A power supply, which is around half a size of the amplifier. If you're familiar with electronics, then you probably know that the 24 volts and 4.16 amps are theoretically capable of holding 100 watts. Not too bad. We also have a terminal, which you can use when you want to plug in a loudspeaker. You would attach the wires to the terminal and then plug it in the amplifier. We're going to do this later in the video, so don't worry. A remote control, a cable for the power supply, one auxiliary cable which has a 3.5mm stereo jack for two RCA plugs and another one with two RCA to two RCA as well as two antennas for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. For the utility they managed to pack in a screwdriver which is always a nice addition in case you don't have one. And it wouldn't be a complete package without a manual book at the bottom. I have said this more times than I care to count but a small compact manual with 4 or 5 pages max will always be more useful instead of a 300 page novel. Let's move over to the setup phase. Attach both of the antennas for good measure, then attach your audio system, in my case those would be hi-fi speakers. You will need cables to attach the sound system to the amplifier. Duh. I'm gonna be using one end with banana plugs for speakers and the other end has clean wires for the A50 amplifier. Freshen up the ends so it would be easier to attach them, then hook them up to the terminal whilst keeping in mind which side is left and which is right, as well the polarities, otherwise you will run into problems real quick. Then tighten the screws on the top. Before doing anything, check the wires for any short circuits which could instantly kill your system. If everything seems in order, then plug in the cables into the back panel. Now you'll need a source of electricity for the power supply, and plug it in. If a light starts flickering then it means you didn't kill the amplifier, congrats, and you can grab your remote control. Push the BT button on the remote control which stands for Bluetooth and then connect your phone to the adjacent channel. You can also download their Muso player app for your phone if you're craving extra settings. For example, create a multi-room zone or use the radio through internet and many other small features. Now a small example of what it actually sounds like. Rock. Jazz. Classical. Pop. Rock. So what is my review of this product? Sadly the package didn't have any batteries in it. I had to use my own batteries and if I didn't have any then I'd had to go to the nearby shop I guess. This could have made the whole first impressions quite sour. The other thing would have to do with the lack in variety for the cables. The terminal only allows for small wires so if you're looking to plug in something bigger in diameter you're gonna have issues. The last thing would be the EQ mode, whenever you push it whilst listening to music you will hear a small spark go off. It's nothing too biggy, but it can be jarring. Now we can tackle the things which made me quite happy. Firstly, the sound quality is impressive for such a small box. 
currently the price stands on around 150 euros, which is really really marvelous for a stereo amplifier. For this amount you might even struggle to find an integrated stereo amplifier, but here you get two channels with power up to 80 watts for each of them. Then you also have the modern luxuries such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and LAN streaming options. You can even use it as an external DAC because it has a built-in RCA analog exit. In conclusion, this is an amazing budget amplifier if you're looking for something that could power your shelf speakers. But if you're hoping to have it go together with something bigger, then you will have to look elsewhere. If you enjoyed this video, leave a rating and a comment on what you think about this amplifier, and be sure to check out the full sound test video coming up in the near future. Goodbye.